Hi, we're Periwinkle Planner Co. and we hope you enjoy the video. Good morning, it's Christine from Periwinkle Planner Co. and today I'm going to be planning in my Skinny Classic. And I'm going to be doing something a little different today. I need to have some creativity this week, so I was unsure what stickers I wanted to decorate with. And when that happens to me, I go on the internet, go onto Pinterest, and I look for ideas. So, um, my favorite place to look on Pinterest is the bullet journal layout ideas, because I came from bullet journaling first when I got into the planner community, and I used to draw my weekly layouts. So I go there to bring back some of that nostalgia and um, just inspire me of different ways that I can decorate my planner versus just putting a sticker down. So what I'm going to do in here this week, where, let's find the week, right here, the 22nd through the 28th, I am going to draw some picture frames, kind of, sort of, or pieces of paper, I guess you'd say, and I am going to kind of do this, this kind of idea, and I'm going to use this sticker pad, which was a dashboard, it had a dashboard on the back, um, I'm not sure if it had a name or not, but it's all these little planner girls. And they're going to be kind of in a picture frame like this. I'm going to cut them down and put them in here. And then since these were bright and colorful, I found these in the Happy Illustration book that I'm going to add these in too. And it's going to be kind of like a planning party creativity inspirational kind of thread. <laughs> so, I'm probably going to put this to music because there's gonna be a lot of things involved or I'm gonna be cutting in and cutting out so to keep this video not too long. But I will show you my process along the way. So first we need to take these pages out. Move this to the side. And we need to start drawing this. And I think that I'm going to, let's see, how can we do this? Probably put them all along the right side and then um, do some of this, the check it off stencil, the stencil over on the right, a few of them so that I have room to write my things for each day. So let's get started. Find my pencil. I'm gonna draw stuff in pencil first, just because it makes me feel a little more comfortable. <laughs> so I'm just gonna make these boxes here. Just gonna come that way more. And then at the corner, you kinda of just do a little thing like this, and you just curve it and then I'm gonna be coloring that in with a marker, shading it in, and it will look like the page is turned up a bit. And then I'm gonna take, after I get this all done, I'm going to take some washi, some coordinating washi, and actually make it look like I stuck these down. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do this outside box. That was kind of just to show a size. So we'll see about if I'm gonna outline it or not. So I'm just gonna keep doing this down here and over here, and I'll come back when I'm done. Okay, so now I have all the boxes drawn, and then you need to take some sort of gray marker. Um, the gray mild liner would work too. I have these Tombow markers. I think I'm going to use the lighter one. On my previous video, I used the darker one. But then you just kind of color this in, and then make a little shadow by just going around the edge. And it doesn't have to be perfectly neat. All right, so I've got that. Then I'm gonna take these girls and I'm gonna put them inside the box just to make them fit. And obviously they're bigger, so I'm gonna to have to take and cut them down a little bit. So I'll just go by the edge and cut their little feet off. <laughs>
All right, so I was going to use these planners also, but they do have all these planners here which would match better, so maybe I'll stick with those. But first we're going to put these lines. Let's out of the way. Let's use our check it off stencil, grab a pen, and put these on here. Then we need to find something for down on the bottom here. What else do we have in here? Um, maybe something from Sassy Plans. Let's see if there's something about planning. Probably not. Uh, and something that would fit. <laughs> Could do that one. Cleverly disguised as an adult. And then we can take some of these planners and put them around places maybe. could use happy planner or plan a happy life how about that one that'd be cute and then I just want to take this light gray again and go over these lines a little bit just to I just always like to do this because it makes them not look so jagged <laughs> and it gives a little bit more dimension to them because we all know that more than likely, do not draw straight lines. <laughs> I think that turned out really cute. Grab the planner and put it back in for next week. It does look cute, but I forgot one thing. I was going to add the little washi up on top. So I have this rainbow washi, and I thought I would just tear little pieces of this. Okay, we're gonna use this one instead. It's an Amy Tangerine one I think would be cuter. There we go. That looks pretty cute. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to be notified every single time that we upload. Bye. We'll see you in the next one.